Hi, Echo 3D community. Megan here to share with you an Echo 3D console walkthrough. Before we begin, just a little background. Echo 3D is a 3D digital asset management platform for developers and enterprises to store, secure, and share 3D content in real time across your organization and beyond. We offer a 3D first content management system and delivery network, asset compression and conversion tools, and a scalable backend as a service infrastructure that enables you to manage, process, and stream your content for healthcare, entertainment, retail, gaming, marketing, and more across all of your devices. Everything that I show you in this walkthrough is also available through an API call. And if you don't know what an API call is, it is a request sent to the Echo 3D server that is asking for a specific service or information. So interactions with the console that uses data or changes the state of a project will incur an API call charge. Plus any API calls made directly outside of the console will also incur a charge. And if you're interested in learning more about API calls, go ahead and check out our documentation or send us a message through email or Slack. Now let's get into our console walkthrough. When you register, you will get an API key, which is a repository for all of your 3D content. You will start with a parent project and then you can add child projects if needed. If I come over and click SDKs and integrations, you'll be able to see a full list of our SDKs, example codes, and open source demos. On our content page, you will be able to upload and search for assets. When you click the plus button, you can upload assets directly from your computer or search through over 700,000 of our free assets in the library. Once your asset is uploaded, it will populate a content card that looks like this. Each content card will display a few options such as download, delete, share, add to a folder, and view instantly in AR. Then, if you double-click on the content card, it will open a detailed view. For right now, I'm going to skip over what's in our detailed view, and I'll come back to it later. Next, we have our data page. This page allows you to manage data associated with your project and the metadata associated with all entries. The global database contains data entries that are applied at a project level or to all content entries in the project and metadata is a set of data entries associated with a single content entry. As you can see, we have a bunch of classes right out of the box for you to choose from, or you can create your own. Our next page is the WebAR Customizer. Here you can add background images, audio, Android camera capture, QR codes, and different buttons and logos. Next is the Model Editor. You can choose which asset you want to make edits to below on the carousel. On the second tab, you can edit things like lighting, animations if you have any, and add hotspots. For example, I'm going to add leather here as my hotspot. The next tab allows you to create variants, swap textures, change emissive and occlusion maps, and easily edit base colors like how I'm doing right now. Our access page comes next. On this page, you are able to set permissions for your projects. If you set your projects to closed, users and viewers must request access in order to edit or download assets. Users only means users are able to edit or download, but viewers still need to request access. And open means that all users and viewers can edit and download assets freely. If you have any requests, they will show up under this request tab. Project admins can then reject or approve them. If you choose to reject the request, you will also have the option to add a note. And in order to share your projects with others, you can scroll down here, hit the plus button, and type in their email. Then you can set the access level for this person. Please note that the email you add has to be associated with an Echo 3D account. Meaning, if you add an email that isn't linked to an Echo 3D account, whether that be a free or paid account, that person will not be able to access your project. On the locations page, if you have any of your assets linked to a specific location, they will show up on this map. And if you're wondering how you can target assets, you can go to the content page and double click on the content card to open the detailed view. Then click target, hit the edit target button and add your specific location or even target it to an image. Then, once you add your specific location, it will show up here on the map. 
The Users page allows you to analyze user distribution by country, and the Insights page shows project insights such as credits for API calls, storage, and bandwidth. You can also view usage history and project history. We also have version control, and you can access this on the content page by double-clicking on the content card to see the detailed view. Then you can click on versions and hit the icon to revert back to old versions of your asset. Another cool thing you can do on the detailed view is set up your entry hierarchy. This feature allows you to assign parent and child assets for projects. Once you open your detailed view, you will find at the very bottom, Entry Hierarchy. From there, you can start assigning child assets like how I'm doing right now. And if you want to delete any assets, all you need to do is click the X. Also, just note that a cyclical hierarchy structure is not supported, and adding relationships that would result in such a structure will be rejected. Now we come over to our Convert and Compress page. This page allows you to convert to different file formats and optimize your assets. We have our Echo 3D Ultimate Compression, where your asset will go through extensive compression, which dramatically reduces file size and only supports a GLB output. And we also have our open source Draco Compression. You can also poly reduce or resize your asset manually here. If you ever get stuck and need a little help, our tutorials page has a bunch of demos. You can also find a link to our GitHub and full documentation here. And if you ever need immediate help, or you just want to say hi to the rest of the Echo 3D community, feel free to join our Slack channel. Lastly, we have our settings page. On the subscription tab, you can manage your subscription plan and view your project usage and monthly limits. The security tab has some project settings like secure access and user location. You can also enable your secret key here. And finally, our profile page allows you to add an avatar, add payment methods, change your password, and link your Sketchfab account. You can also tell us a little about yourself by filling out your role and industry so that we can get to know you better. To get access to the Echo 3D console, sign up for a 7-day free trial today at echo3d.com.